Could we be one step closer to solving the mystery behind how the universe was created? Maybe. This week, a group of physicists announced that it thinks it has discovered the subatomic particle responsible for creating the universe. This subatomic particle, which has become known as the God particle since it was first predicted nearly 50 years ago. So with me to talk about it is Tarek Malik, a managing editor for Space.com. Let's get in layman's terms. What does this mean, this discovery? Well, basically, uh, physicists have a model of the universe. Universe, basically how they think everything that we see around us works. There was a piece missing, and that's the Higgs boson particle. Uh, what they this say, is the God particle. This is the God okay. particle, and they hadn't found it. And now uh, they saw signs of it last year, but they weren't really sure. And what we learned this week is that, yeah, they've seen it. It exists. You know, now. All right, so, so I talk about this, talk, uh, this, this explaining in part perhaps how the universe was created, but doesn't this also give some idea of how and when the universe would end? Yeah, that's a, another theory that, that we just uh, learned about this month, too. Um, the Higgs boson particle is what they think gives everything in the universe its mass. You, me, the desk, uh, the, huh? the sun. And, uh, and what they think is that that particle and that, that mass relationship in 10 billion years or so that the universe could be in for a, a catastrophic event that you know, we, we might not be that stable of a place after all. 10 billion years from now? Yeah, look okay. at yeah. We've got some time. a list of things to worry about. <laughs> um, I want to ask you about these asteroids. We spoke about one of the big ones that mm -hmm. happened about a month ago, but there have been subsequently another couple, three, one of them the size of a city block. The disturbing thing is, Tarek, that they do not know about these until after they've come through and passed near... The Earth. I mean, what kind of a problem is this? Well, you know, uh, we, we've heard you know NASA scientists call our solar system a cosmic shooting gallery. There are just millions of asteroids mm -hmm. out there, and many of them pass near Earth all the time. They don't hit us, obviously, uh, but there are more people looking now, so we're finding these ones that are coming down uh, or swinging by all the time. We saw the asteroid that uh, exploded over Russia sure. uh, last month, too. Uh, so just you know, having more people looking for them, we can spot them uh, hopefully with more notice than what we saw last weekend uh, yeah. with so many at the same time. All right, Tarek Malik, always good to see you. Come back and bring us more of this interesting stuff. Appreciate it.